Welcome back, my friends, to what I think is going to be an absolute heater. You see, I haven't seen this video yet that we're about to watch. It was emailed to me. And if you've been around, you know, sometimes I like to pour a glass of something aged in oak <laughs> and do my first pass on camera with you guys instead of, you know, scripting and writing bits and boring things that take effort and time. <laughs> Here's a clip for you I haven't even seen yet. There's no safety here. This is a communist country. You're not gonna push me. Perfect. You're not gonna prod me. Apparently some insufferable middle-aged women, pejoratively known as Karens, are in full heat this video so badly that an unsurprising complaint to a manager I wish I was joking escalated into an arrest. So put a little bit of baby powder on your loins and let's skull our eye holes together. Shout out body cam watch once again. 17th, 2022. Police were called to remove a woman who was causing a disturbance at a restaurant. Hi, how are you? The ultimate. Okay, the manager of this establishment is asked you to leave the business. Okay, you need to turn and walk out the door. Well, the manager of this business is an idiot. <laughs> that may be, but you gotta go <laughs> right now. Turn around and start walking here. Turn around. Come on, you don't want to go to jail. Walk out. Go ahead. Go on, walk. Go ahead. 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 Go the cops are here, they're taking me away! First impressions? I mean, it, it could not be more on point for the Karen meme. Like, she's actually at the front desk of a restaurant getting arrested because she won't leave because she hates the manager so much. You couldn't even script a skit this on point, but it's a real life body cam video. It's like, what a blessing from God, honestly. And then this officer was taking no shit. If you're not leaving the property and they want you to leave, you're now trespassing and you get arrested. Thanks for playing. This is one of those scenarios which is funny because like we have zero context going into this. It's literally just the cops show up and she refuses and she gets arrested. But you just know there's that part of your brain that knows that she's the problem here. You know, it's like the restaurant, probably not the problem. Probably just this woman in the sundress fucking screaming Get fuck you to the officers. I don't do requests. Get your fucking hands <laughs> off me. Jupiter 968. <laughs> Where is this actually? Hey, Jupiter? Get your fucking hands off me. I'll be 1015 in reference. Get your hands off me. Signal 80. Signal 51. And all right, without, I can get a cage car. Get your hands off me. This has got to be Florida. They don't like use pavement in a lot of places in Florida. It's like this beautiful tiles and they have all these palm trees. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> of course it is. This is in Florida, to no one's surprise. I feel like Florida and Wisconsin, always first and second place when it comes to body cam vids. She's being arrested. You have to stay over here with me. Okay, why? Well, we told her to leave. She was trespassed by management, and then she attempted to push through the police officer and myself. So she, now she's being placed under arrest for resisting arrest and trespass. Look at this asshole twisting my arm! Doreen, look at this asshole twisting my arm! Doreen is... <laughs> Doreen! Look at this jerk! He's twisting my arm! Hold on a second, did you get the... I left a half a glass of Chardonnay on the table. Did you happen to get that? God, fuck my Chardonnay, Doreen! Classic case of a night out with the girls turned into a whoops-a-daisy. I had two Xanax and drank a bottle of white wine, and now I'm getting arrested and hauled out by a police officer because I tried to shit down the manager's throat. Oh, it's tough to have sympathy for people like this. Hey guys, come on. Ma'am, you gotta stay here, ma'am. Ma'am. No, don't tell me what to do. I'm don't telling you what to do. Yeah, hey, don't walk over here. Of course you can walk okay. over here. Look how tiny Nathan's talking. Look what he's doing to me. Look, he's cutting off my circulation. He's twisting my arm. Don't walk any closer. Because I told him I was the manager. I wasn't happy with the way it was. I'm not inferring anything. You're welcome to stand on the sidewalk. Record it. It already is being recorded. Record it. Record it. It already is. Because I told the manager that I wasn't happy with the way he was gossiping. When we, we were asking for our salt and pepper, and they were standing there talking she together. Wanted her. Yeah. And I said, she was and been arrested, was arrested, arrested because she wouldn't leave the business and after she was told to leave. That's why. You got arrested 
Because your fucking servers were gossiping about the salt and pepper, or you thought they were? I'm fucking dead, bro. This is, whoo! I like, you can see me smiling from ear to ear. Like, I hate that I take so much pleasure in seeing these entitled middle-aged fucking rats just get served a fucking heaping tablespoon of reality. And like, the, real, the reality is like, these are people's moms. These are people's daughters and sisters. Like it's sad, but I can sit here and laugh because God bless my mother. I would just never in a million years ever be in a scenario like this. Just an actual sweetheart. So I can sit here and just laugh at how fucking pathetic this woman's life must be to get arrested over salt and pepper. <laughs> You're under arrest. No, you pulling on this cup? You're pulling on this cup is why it's hurting. You're cutting my circulation. My son is a state trooper. Come on. Are you kidding me? Why? Okay. Would you mind pulling her phone? Are you really gonna arrest her? I'm not hurting her. No. Her pulling on these cuffs is what's hurting her. Yeah, okay. That is well, facts. This dance is getting a little ridiculous. You're, I agree. You're, if she would have turned to left the business, we wouldn't be here today. Yeah, but officer, okay. you don't arrest people for that. Come on. It's called trespassing. Yes, we do. Hey, that's not. I'm here for this issue right now. Okay, I'm not worried about it. Get this off me. Get this off. Come on. Yeah, we're custom right here. No, that's ridiculous. Officer, because I don't told we have anything to do with our taxpayer money? I said, Get he's the, the owner of this okay. place. I, I'm, I'm on you're not allowed to stand there. What? You're allowed to stand I'm on the sidewalk. <laughs> no, you're not. And I was on public he's giving you a lawful order. Why are you not? <laughs> Man. This is why we have the problems we've got. What does that vague statement even mean from teal dress Karen over there? I, you know, I just, Karen is overused. I don't like to categorize every woman as it just, it's so ubiquitous now. You know what I mean? It's, it's a pretty much colloquialism at this point, but four minutes in, I mean, my heart's up. My heart's racing. Cause I'm just like, this one gets me going. I don't know why the, the officer initially, like I said, like the body cam started right when he rolled up, he wasted no time in putting the cuffs on her. The second he realized she was non-compliant, gonna have an attitude, fucking bing bang, get her out of there. I'm okay with that, quite frankly. Like, I'd rather that, get her out of the restaurant and let everyone else have a nice night instead of them like trying to reason with her for like 15 minutes and create a whole fucking scene. You're not gonna listen and leave? Get fucking cuffed and stuffed, bitch. I, I don't get this. I don't either, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> This is called communism, right here, right now. This is what we got. This is, this is what we got. Well, we got coming over a southern border, but we're gonna arrest this woman. Six women have together. I'm sorry. Did she just call this communism and then talking about immigration? This is fucking beautiful. I'm complaining about this service. Why? Why? She didn't leave when she was immediately told to leave. I believe. That's what I think. That's correct. Correct. to leave. She tried to press past the officer physically. Yeah. After she was told to leave by management, so she's being arrested for failure to leave upon trespass and resisting arrest. Can you just, can you let her go? She didn't understand what was going on. She understood. She was given multiple warnings and told to leave. I mean, I mean, that's no, a, let that's it go event. because I can't, I can't wait. And you're going to do this to, to your restaurant? restaurant? You know what? We're going to post everything on Facebook. Okay. You're more than welcome to. <laughs> Fucking yes! The fucking, I'm posting the Facebook thread. Oh my fucking, I'm coming right now. Oh, 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 they're fucking quintessential poster children, Karen, and I am lit as f Woo! God, every time, how many times have we seen it? When you're out here looking like a fucking dumbass, then you're the one that threatens to post it online. And then guess what? The body cam goes online and you look like a fucking idiot! Maybe I'm overreacting a little bit. Like, they, we don't know. They haven't done anything wrong. They're just trying to look out for their friend. I get it. I can't talk shit about them so much. But goddamn, as a veteran, sorry, a little, a little gassed. As a veteran of the restaurant industry that has dealt with hundreds of tables of women like this, and had to fucking eat the shit for years and years so I could get my tip to pay my rent and my car payment. My God, does this bring me unfathomable joy. And listen, I served a lot of women this age that looked like this that were wonderful and beautiful and took great care of me. We had a great time. We'd schmooze it up. It was awesome. But when you know, and you when you see a group like, when you know, you know. If you've been in the industry, you can just, I'm so sure of you can tell. Oh my gosh, this is a picture of us. Yeah. I've been taking wow. pictures. Yeah. yeah. Really. I got them. It's like, six this warrants being arrested? Are you I'm kidding. Yep. Having dinner together. 
Are you, are you fucking fucking owner, the manager? No, I'm a security supervisor for the firm. Yeah, well, that's fine. Honey, Alexis, Alexis is going to be stranded okay. if I don't pick her up. I assume you're going to be stranded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Okay
This is going in the Leon Lush history book. I'll tell you that right now. I've made a lot of fucking videos in my life, and this is maybe the highest my heart rate has been out of excitement. Diabetes. I'm not sure what that says about me, but I've already conveyed to you my experience in the restaurant industry and kind of how that parlayed into this particular experience. I'm honestly so glad I waited to watch this on camera for the first time because I wouldn't be able to recreate this energy if I had seen it already. Yeah. Y'all got there. to an amicable agreement. Just, this way, I get for complaining about bad service that's to not, a bad manager. That's not, that's not what happened. That's exactly, <laughs> leave. that's exactly what happened. Yes, but it's and been, I, I am going to just see this all the way through. It's, I am it's a so private, glad. It's a private establishment. They can kick anybody out for anything. Yeah, they can kick anyone out for anything. <sighs> stay safe with this? Are you kidding? <laughs> There's no safety here. This is a communist country. <laughs> this kind of treatment. We can't de-escalate so, it. Is it too late? Yes. Well, at, oh. at, at this point, probably. Still, she's going now. Yeah. And they can't just say, okay, mm. enough's enough. You've been warned. You've done enough. They, we need to here, put they're, they're very, they're very good with giving people chances. So th oh. this is actually pretty, this is, Are this doesn't happen. Yep. Did you want to keep your jewelry on it? They're going to remove all these. Why? For what reason? Why, why would you think I'd be kidding? I don't know. I don't know. They're going to take all this when you go into the jail, so that's why I'm asking you. Doreen! No, Doreen Dory. can't come over here until I, I give her permission to come over. I think yeah. Doreen's the blue be dress. Okay turning that over to you? you want to strip me? Take my clothes, too. Take yes my clothes, too. No. Okay? <clears throat> For the sake of the officers and myself and everyone else watching, <clears throat> we're going to let you keep your clothes on. It's just going to be... I'm actually upset that you suggested that they take them off. That's take my shoes, take my clothes, take everything. The bracelet and jewelry is an option. Okay, you think about it. <laughs> this is how you treat a law-abiding citizen, someone who works for the community. Hmm? This is how you treat someone. Bro, this fight, like. <sighs> She, this is the thing, like, you know, this type of woman's like so involved in like the local, she's like the head of the HOA, she's on the school board, probably runs a program at the library, all her little friends, and they got their kids and their grandkids, like they're super involved. It has to be wildly embarrassing. And I know that like everyone's gonna watch this and all her inner circle friends are gonna be like, oh my God, Janet, I can't believe it. You should sue them. I can't believe they treated you this way. Oh, sweetheart, I can't fucking believe it. It's like, bitch. Just learn how to act right. You wouldn't have to deal with this shit. Just don't be a fucking stuck up bitch. And uh, <clears throat> you wouldn't be on a body cam video on the internet. It's very simple, honestly. It's it's so fucking simple. Over salt and pepper. <laughs> I just can't fucking, you can't write it this good. Holy fuck. What you, didn't I? I heard everything you said. I've been nothing but respectful to you, correct? These handcuffs on me. Having my gun stripped from me is not respectful to me. Having me stand out here in public handcuffed because I complained about the wait step is not respectful. That is the problem. Well, I explained to you why you're being arrested. Let's go. What are, what are we waiting for? Yes, Let's go. Yes, do paperwork. Mm. While I'm standing out there? I, I asked you if you wanted to sit down. I want to go. He's got to do paperwork. Take this off. You know, no. no, we're not taking them off. Sit down. You said you wanted to go, right? Are we going now? Daddy. Shortly, but you have to sit in the car, okay? Tell my church to come, the rivalry church. Tell them to come down. Tell Mary to bring everybody. Bring everybody from church. Carol. Carol. You need to. I was, I underestimated. I was talking library, community involvement, HOA. It's, it's the church too. She's, I mean, she's going to get the whole ass congregation down there to hold a candlelight vigil outside of the police station in protest her arrest. I just, it's beautiful. I honestly, it brings a tear to my eye. I hope the support comes for her because what an injustice here, you know, man, salt and pepper. You can't fuck with my salt and pepper and expect me not to blow up and get arrested. Not while I'm paying out to eat. <clears throat> Get the whole church. Doreen, Doreen, call Father Mike and call Father Philip. Tell him to get down to the station in 25 minutes. Bring the candles. We need a sermon and we need a microphone and bring the holy water. And tell Father Philip to bring the incense and the sacrament because we're gonna break the body of Christ. This is just outrageous. Sit in the car. Everybody, 
everybody. Tell everybody. Carol, to come. we're not. We're not. We're, we're. Carol, come on. Tell him to bring everybody Carol, now. Watch your head. <laughs> she just. She really just tried to rally the whole church community to get down to the She's station. going to jail. I'm fucking dead. I gave her every opportunity. I'm fucking all she had to dead. do was turn around and walk out. That's after she put her hands out and touched my vest. She didn't hit me, but she put out her hands and made contact. Well, I will arrest me then. I'm, and I didn't even do anything right then. I took a breath and said, please, just walk out. And she couldn't. She wanted to push past and make a scene. So now she has to go to jail. She made all these choices. It's unfortunate she did that. She'll be in jail for some hours and end up getting... What was that? God. What is that? A lizard. That's a big lizard. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm sorry. That co I'm laughing because like that would be my that would be my wife if she we were in Florida out to dare she saw a lizard she'd shit her pants. Just a beautiful little Easter egg there. Lady in the pink here can't understand it. She's like, wait. She's like, so you're telling me that you asked her to do something several times. You asked her to leave. She didn't do what you said, and then she told you to arrest her and started to get aggressive. And she had, the, so her actions had consequences. Is that what you're telling me? Cause that's weird. Cause at this age, I mean, we're grandparents, so we don't actually have consequences anymore. We can do whatever we want. Can you just break free? Almost, you almost landed on your hair. Okay. Okay. Classic Florida Carol, lizard. We're going to swap out your handcuffs. Okay. And this female officer is going to check you before we take you down to jail. Okay. Here you go. So if you can just bring your legs out, stand up. Oh, she looks excited. I asked to be driven back to the public place where I was instead of being in the secluded area it's where good. none of People my right there, friends and nobody out. can this see me. I do not feel safe here and I have been saying... Right oh, give me a fucking break. You don't feel safe. What type of behavior have they displayed to make you feel unsafe? I... Ugh, for Christ's sake. You know, a police officer with you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the police officer who put handcuffs on me and twisted my arm because I complained about the wait staff. No, no really I don't. I don't feel safe here, and I want to be in a public place. Would you like to just deal with me only? I have nothing to do with this situation. I'm a female to female. I can just handle it. I'm asking to step back. Courteous. I understand that, but before you go anywhere, I have to check you. I have to see how you go. And they're not going to do it, so they asked me to come by and handle it. Well, technically, you are in a public place. Well, I don't understand her obsession with. She just like her, she just can't understand being separated from the gaggle, right? She's like a, just a goose on her own. When the goose gets separated from the gaggle, it's like doesn't know what to do. Feels unsafe, you know. She just can't fucking deal with it. They brought a female officer in to quell her discomfort, and she still can't deal with it. Man, I need my gaggle. I'm going to minister off you whatever one into. I swear to God, I tried to be patient. I'm trying to be nice and courteous. She's being so okay, nice and courteous. Okay, I'm trying to get yourself into the situation. Nobody else did anything. <clears throat> okay. Secure, right, ladies, step out. I'm trying. I asked him. They've asked multiple times to come out by yourself. You're not doing it, so now I'm going to have to help you. I asked to go into Step out. Like, we're, we're done with all this. Step out of the car. You're done with all what? Trying right, to negotiate with you. Right. Come out. Come on. Well, you're under arrest, so right now you have to cooperate with our no, booking procedure. I'm not cooperating. No, ma'am. No. That needs to come out. Take that right leg. Austin, do you want to pull her out that way? Do you want us to pull you across the car? You're not going to push me. Perfect. You're not going to prod me. Come on. Come on. You're not going to twist. My fucking arm, like you are now. You're just what relax. Kind of man are you? Just relax. What kind of a man are you? Carol, take a breath. A woman relax. Like that? Get the <laughs> fuck off You're my arm. You're and bracing your arms. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're trying to get the whole church congregation down to the station, you might want to limit the F-bombs just to scotch, okay? Jesus doesn't look kindly upon people screaming fuck on camera. Get the fuck off! The power of Christ compels you! So shut the fuck up for just a second. Jesus. Get the fuck off my arm! I'm in handcuffs, you fucking okay. dick! What Take kind of a man are you? Relax, okay? I what are you pushing my hair up for? I need to check your hair. Jesus! This is how they treat a woman, a mother, a grandmother, a teacher, a therapist, a law abiding citizen who goes to church. Get the fuck out of my bra! Come on. Get off me! Come on. You don't let me put my hands all over you. Tell me. Carol, Carol, take it easy. All you need to do is. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! 
so when you put those on. Get the fuck off me! Listen, she's up. Okay, so we're gonna. You're gonna put. I need a minute. Oh, I'm trying to keep it together. I like, I have the, it's like the angel and demon on the shoulder. Like, Leon, it shouldn't be. This is not, this is not entertainment. This is sad. This is a grandmother just. Hey, where's the other guy? And then it's like, oh boy, this, what a fucking show this is, right? I just, I'm really morally having a very difficult time right now. But mostly the, uh, the me enjoying it is winning out. I, I. But change. Oh. Actually, you know what? Here, I'm first. gonna borrow yours. Okay. Or just keep those on. When you're done, just lock it. Get on this hurts. Okay. Did you find anything? Like you, you got I didn't get any. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Teacher, right. mother, and okay. grandmother. This is what they're doing. We're gonna transport shortly. Teacher, <laughs> therapist. <laughs> Why? Otherwise, you'll push me down. Push you down. Get off my arm! I'll let go. But if you start flailing around, I'm gonna have to hold your arm again, okay? Okay, there you go. Now keep up your end of it. Sit down. I want to go directly to the police station no this problem. time. Instead of sitting here Carol, in a secluded Carol. area Carol, where it has to, to be Sit taken the to the police station over an hour ago. Come on. Sit down. Charged with trespass after warning <clears throat> and resisting, obstructing without violence. Misdemeanor, slap on the wrist, obviously. The charges are not the problem for her life. It's the fact that body cam videos are public domain and now this video has gone super viral. And it's the shame that goes along with these things going viral. That, that It's like a, the arrest, the charge, you like pay a little fine, not even, slap on the wrist, doesn't matter. But now your whole community <laughs> The people that you teach, the people you go to school with, your church, like they're all gonna see this shit. <laughs> and I'm be like, well, listen, if like if this is if I'm in a community and like this is a and this woman rules and like she's always nice and sweet and just so like just the best woman, like I'm gonna watch this and I'm gonna hate it. Obviously, as a third party, on I'm you know don't know her, and I come from a background of dealing with kind of like entitled Karen types in restaurants. I see this and I'm like, oh fuck yeah, ooh. Yeah. So it's per perspective. Like I, I don't, I don't take, I don't like seeing a mother and a grandmother like get cuffed and stuffed. I just told you I did like seeing that. <laughs> now that I can believe. I, you know, I don't. You, you be the judge. I don't know. I'm just fucking. I'm just reacting on the fly here. That was it. I never get tired of seeing people daring the cops to arrest them, then suddenly upset when they do. It's not fucking rocket science. It really isn't. But some people are so insulated from kind of the reality of how things work that after a long time, their brain just develops mold and they forget how to act. And in this case, she is now paying the price, not so much with the crazy charges she has to beat in court, but mostly with the shame of this video going viral. Mom, if you're watching this, sorry for all of the expletives and thank you so much for living a life that is beautiful and never being in a situation where this would even be possible. I'm truly blessed. And to the rest of you watching this, thank you for joining me as always for a few minutes. This was my first pass. And I gotta tell you, this was uh, this was a banger for me. I haven't gotten that amped up in a long time. And when I get that amped up, it can only mean one thing. I gotta go slam my dick and balls in the office door for a few minutes because I am bricked up like the Egyptian pyramids right now. If you guys could just do me a favor and stand up out of your chair, pull down your pants and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me before you go, I'd appreciate the hell out of you. Subscribe if you want to or not. I don't actually care, but I do appreciate you regardless. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.